My most memorable moment was I returned match figures of none for 140 on debut. <laughs> And they picked me for the next test. <laughs> I played 146 first-class games of cricket. Loved every one of them. I was a leg spinner. But I could bat a bit. I averaged 25 in the first-class game. Proud of that. My favourite shot was the cover drive. Oh, I love the cover drive. Top hand, open face, check it. No ugly bottom hand taking over. Yeah, played a lot. But if every time, and you know, I should have averaged more, average 20, should have averaged 35. Except every time Imran Khan or Richard Hadley speared an in swinging yoga to the base of leg stump, if I hadn't gone for that bloody cover drive. <laughs> <laughs> Still, regrets, not many, but one was my highest first class score. I never got a first class century. Got close. 99, not out. Every time I say it, after 40 odd years of counselling, it hurts. It was against Auckland at the Eden Park in New Zealand for Australia. Three day first class game. Batted seven. And you know Eden Park. It's that small rectangle, uh, 32 metre boundaries. It's the ground where the cover fieldsman sits with the crowd before he walks in with the bowler. <laughs> Ideal for my cover drive. <laughs> and I played a lot of them. Bat at seven, in at five for 138. I was skippy. I was rin tin tin. I was there to rescue. I was going to go back to Ranger Matt. <laughs> or the fort and let him know there was trouble. Caused by Headley Howth and Bob Cunis. Neither one thing nor the other. But at the end of the second last day, I was 82 not out. Uh, we led by 111, and Ian Chappell, our skipper, Captain Courageous, never won for milestones. He announced at the bar, Skull, you've never got a first class century. You're giving you your chance tomorrow. I'm going to bat on rather than declare it the overnight. I said, Thank you, Chappelle. Outstanding. Went to bed, woke up, felt good, felt real good. Not many turned up at Eden Park on the final day. 15. <laughs> And there was a blind guy sitting there with his Labrador dog. Yeah. He'd been there the day before. After about half an hour, uh, the dog was yelling out, have a go, you mark. <laughs> <laughs> and the owner was cocking his leg against the wall, having a leak. <laughs> I wasn't exactly, I didn't have the crowd in my pocket, but I was after three figures. I walked out that morning with Ray Bright. In the first over, he was bold DB Lager for none. <laughs> in walked Max Walker, the late Max Walker, my roommate. And I looked at him as he took out and thought, he's had the buffet breakfast at our hotel. All of it. <laughs> <laughs> Second ball, off pole goes missing. Back to eating. In walked Ashley Mallet, the number 11. I thought, wow, finger spinner, Gonna be problems. <laughs> I edged my way from 82 to 99 in singles. I wasn't taking any risks. Uh, it wasn't a flash attack. <laughs> yeah, but it was good enough for me to look at singles. We had a midwicket conference. I'm on 99. I said, looking for the one. He said, yeah, I know you are. <laughs> Next ball, I push. Bob Cunis, wide of cover. I yell out, yes. Ashley Rowdy Mallet establishes a Guinness Book of Record, world record, that still stands today by being the non-striker and saying when a batsman for his first, first class hundred yells, yes, he said, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's ever said wait when somebody's on 99. Run out by 15 metres. Innings closed, me 99 not out. I don't know what Rowdy does these days. He lives in near Adelaide. I'm sure he hangs around traffic lights. And when it turns green, he just yells out, wait, because <laughs> in a couple of seconds, he's going to be right. <sighs> good old Rowdy, very good bowler. Um, 
haven't uh, spoken to him since 1974. That's 42 years. What was the last thing I said to him? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe for more.